Hello guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. You join me here in the testing world with this, which you may have seen in the background. Quite a few people have asked about it, and it is basically a vote machine. So if I want to vote for Trump, I get each person would have one election token, and then they can come here and vote for whoever they want. You'd have obviously some people to run your, or not probably server, but a town or something. Oh, and and every person could come and vote for who you want, and you've got this good aesthetic display of who is winning. So then, say, quite a few people come here and vote for for uh, Biden, or just Blue, or whoever it, that side is, then it will change. And Now, this can be infinitely expandable, pretty much, up the world border if you needed it, to uh, accommodate how many players will be taking part. And the redstone back here is really simple. You could incorporate it into the side of any sort of um, skyscraper. So I, tr I did my best with the wording, but the, the writing, but I'm not the best with building. But the redstone here is really simple. So let's get into the tutorial. Now you can have as many people running for the for candidate as you want. I'm going to do just defeats the point but one here and then you can copy it by going back in the video but if we go here a repeater here a redstone torch here and two redstone dust here now that is your whole filter system now you'll want to get some randomly named items which i'm going to replace with andesite but you'll want to name the items with something really Someone would never guess, otherwise you can get voter fraud, as Donald Trump says. Um, so then you're going to get one in each of these, and then just 14 in this one. And then an election token here. Now, then we will get a block up like this. A torch. A block. And then a staircase running up like this. Now you can do this either way, but you need to go quite high, as high as you want these poles to be able to go. So very high if you're gonna, you're gonna have a lot of people. Now I recommend this height, and then having a going three blocks up like this, and then just instead going having no redstone dust on this one have a torch instead and a torch on this one and then a block and a torch on this one we're then going to have a block here a dust here and then we're going to get a piston and put it i prefer to put it this side because then it's a bit closer to your machine now this is your whole system done. You'll want to place a block of your choice here, and then that's it. That's the whole system. So I recommend getting some block of your choice, placing it to make a wall here. Now this wall will obviously be um, a bit nicer looking than this. Unless you do like white concrete, and we, in that case, okay. But then leave a hole for this. Now I make the hole look, look okay like this. But then you need concrete powder or any gravity block. So I might choose... Uh, it has to be the powder version though. So I might choose magenta concrete powder. And then stack it up behind the wall here. It can go as high as you want. You could even have it coming out of the top of the building because it's not too much of an issue. But however many blocks you have up here, it's worthwhile to have between the floor and your hole as well. But then if we get a uh, some layers here, then we can vote. Now the first one you'll have to prime it, but then after that it'll work. Now you can see it's already working, you can really do it quite fast. 
as well. Not that you, they will, people will though, because everyone's only going to have one. And yeah, that is a simple setup. You can just copy this. You can copy it a hundred times if you wanted to. I, I recommend they're having like a room f with them all around here. I reckon that would be quite cool. Um, if you're going to have that many. But this sort of setup works well for if you're having two. Now, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.